What's good with y'all Scorpios? This is Scorpionic Sag North Road Rise of Tarot. Welcome to the channel. If you haven't subscribed, I'll, it would be greatly appreciated if you would. And if you want to leave a donation, I have a link in the description box below. This is going to be another video for my favorite sign, Scorpio. Okay, this is the video that's been getting the most hits on it. Okay, now to the Leos, the Sagittarius, and the Pisces, I'm not really getting no hits on the Pisces. I think I got a few hits on it, but... I'm going to do the videos that get the most hits. I mean, if Leo ends up getting the most hits or Sagittarius, then that's what I'm going to kick into action with. You know what I'm saying? But Scorpio so far is getting the most hits. So I greatly appreciate the likes, the subscriptions, and the support. Okay? This is uh, going to indeed be a psychic message for the Scorpios out there that need clairvoyant messages that help you out of a stressful situation or you could be trapped in your head because i'm getting a lot of mental confusion i don't even have to use these cards but but that's the whole point of doing tarot you know what i'm saying like you lay the cards out and you have a storyline because some something that you could say may not resonate with all the scorpios out there but i'd much rather do a tarot reading with the cards as i say look this is what's going on as i say that oh wait now nah, you're just making that up and stuff but no matter which way it goes, no matter if I did throw the cards down, if I was to tell y'all what them cards were showing throughout all my videos, you would be like, damn, how's it, how's it get that on point like that? It's the clairvoyance, you know what I'm saying? Scorpios are gifted with clairvoyance. Some of y'all may not even realize this, bro, but y'all have a tremendous psychic gift. Uh, psychic gift, that's what I mean, okay, psychic gift. <laughs> but uh, anyways, uh, some of y'all are gifted with a psychic gift, bro. A lot of y'all are, uh, well, y'all are aware of it, but a lot of them out there, they, a lot of people make, try to make Scorpio or get inside their head to manipulate them. It's called emotional manipulation. A lot of people out there will try to get in Scorpio's head to make them seem as if they're crazy, but everything that that Scorpio feels, bro, it's accurate. I'm going to tell y'all that right now. Scorpio is 99.9% rarely wrong okay if that makes any sense bro i'm telling you right now that intuition that a scorpio has when you bring them around somebody it's going to be a hundred thousand percent accurate i'm gonna tell y'all that right now y'all may think that scorpio is being insecure or they being paranoid or they're like oh yeah you just you just trying to say that because you're trying to be controlling let me tell you something it could be in a sense controlling but in a good type of way because i'm gonna tell you something right now to the female ladies out there, okay, to the females. It don't even have to be a female scarf. But if you're dealing with a male scarf and you're trying to figure out why this man is so protective over you, I'm going to tell you why. Okay, this will go for other females out there too. All right, and I'm going to get into the reading, the psychic reading. The main reason why that man, that scorpion man, is protective over you is because he actually gives a fuck. When a man's going to tell you about yourself, when a man's going to speak the hell up and tell you what's going on with the situation and get you right on it, that's the man that actually cares about you. Rather than the man that's going to sit back and let other people walk all over you. Nah, fuck that. That Scorpion man ain't going to let that happen. I damn sure ain't going to let it happen because I'll be ready to crack a skull real quick. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, uh, Scorpion man ain't going to be like that, ladies. A Scorpion man, okay, this don't even have to stand. This don't even have to go for a Scorpion man. This could go for other males out there too. A lot of ladies don't like being told the truth because they get with all these other dudes that's in a submissive position, okay? Not meaning that I'm talking down on them, bro, but they don't have that backbone that that Scorpion man got that will stand up, that will see straight through people and call shit for exactly what it is. And a lot of females look at him as if he's crazy, like, nah, nah, you just going, you just in your head, bro. What's in your head? The third eye. I know that's going to send shivers up and down y'all spine, bro, but I wanted to. I wanted to send them shivers and electrical currents through your body. The third eye is the mind's eye. That's what he sees through people with. So he is in his head, but in the right part, which is the pineal gland. He sees through people, ladies. Listen to him. Don't ignore him. Okay? A lot of ladies want to argue with him, okay, because they think they always right because they used to having their egos fed by these other submissive dudes out there that tell them everything they want to hear in order to get something from her. That's manipulation in the discreet form right there, you know. But some of the ladies out there, especially the Scorpio lady, she can see straight through that. You know what I'm saying? And I ain't taking the lady's side either. I'm not just taking the Scorpio lady's side. It's the truth. Because Scorpio is gifted with those psychic abilities, okay? We are naturally born with those psychic abilities to where we can see through people and read in the energy like it ain't nothing, you know? 
But I really don't want to make a video like this, y'all, like to keep on talking about all this, all them experiences. But at the same time, bro, a lot of people need to have an understanding, especially the Scorpios out there, because they get called crazy all the time. A lot of people try to get in them Scorpios heads to tell them that, oh, what you thinking is inaccurate. They try to gaslight and gaslight and gaslight. When we sent something, I'm going to tell you something right now, Scorps. If you doubt yourself even one bit, do not do it. Do not let those people in your head. What you feel is accurate. Whenever you feel something wrong with a situation or you have a pulling sensation or a sinking sensation, that is your intuition. I'm telling you. You you have this vision. You know what I'm saying? You get this random vision out of nowhere and you see it. It's almost like you're seeing it with your physical eyes, but you're seeing it with your third eye vision. I'm going to tell you something right now. That's a clairvoyant vision that is coming in. Okay, you are getting that's your clairvoyant abilities. Tune into that and acknowledge it because that's the truth. All right, this is why a lot of people hate you because they can't fuck with you on that level. A lot of people will fear you, bro. A lot of people fear y'all out there because you can see straight through them. You know what I'm saying? But uh, anyways, I ain't gonna get too deep in a topic like that. I may do another video later on, but I'm gonna just do a free speaking video, a free speech. Now, get into the reading, the psychic reading. I'm tuning into y'all energy, okay? I don't know your name. I don't know your face. I could just tune into the Scorpio energy. I'm sensing a lot of sadness coming from a lot of y'all. I'm sensing a lot of uh, betrayal coming from some of y'all, okay? I'm sensing y'all being in y'all head. A lot of y'all are dealing with mental conflict that you can't seem to escape. You are dealing with emotional darkness from the underworld. Because when you go into that stinging, that stinging mode, when you're stinging yourself, it's the underworld that you tune into. It's the demons that you're facing for what it is. You may feel angry sometimes. That's what I'm picking up on too. Some of y'all may feel angry sometimes. You may feel highly frustrated like nobody gets you. Nobody can understand where you come from. Nobody can actually sit there and be loyal to you like you deserve. And you get tired of that. You're fed up with that. You fed up with people not really loving you, bro. Not really bringing that genuine love to the table to actually offer it to fulfill you emotionally, spiritually, and mentally. Some of y'all are sick and tired of dealing with these people that don't see your value, that don't see your worth, don't see you what, what they don't see what you bring to the table, and that's bullshit. I'm gonna tell y'all that right now. It's bullshit. Because I'm going to tell you something. I've been through situations like this plenty of times. Okay, I say five times, but that's that's enough. Five, five is enough. You know what I'm saying? Even one time is enough. But you have to learn life lessons. You have to learn in order to grow. Y'all see what I'm saying? But I get a lot of y'all are going through this mental conflict that you can't seem to escape. It's the underworld with your emotional side. All right? You tuning into that emotional underworld and facing the darkest demons, but you built for that shit. I want y'all to understand that. You built for it. Even when it feels like your knees are going to buckle, bruh, that's an illusion. Your, your knees are not going to buckle. Even if you crying your eyes out to the, to, to the female scarps out there, even to the male scarps, it's going to hit you to the point that's a tower moment, okay? They have this in the 78 cards. They have a tower in here, okay? It's called the tower card. That's what it is. Some of y'all could be experiencing a tower moment right now. That is excruciating on the inside. I mean, it's, it's it feels like your whole inside is on fire, bro. It's burning, it's torching, it's torching the living fuck out of y'all. And I'm picking up on that energy. Whenever I do that read, that reading early, when I did that reading with that narcissistic energy, I instantly got clairvoyance with that. Okay, clairvoyant visions, not yeah, clairvoyant visions, not just with the narcissist, but past experiences that some of y'all out there went through crucial experiences i'm talking about excruciating pain to where you feel like you can never get out your head to experience that freedom again y'all see what i'm saying bro i get y'all bro i get y'all on that level i understand y'all on that level you know what i'm saying i know some of y'all out there bro are so sick and tired of fucking people so sick and tired of dealing with these people and i'm not saying sit there and play the victim because that's something that scorpio don't do i'm just talking about you just get to the point to where you fully detach. And I'm not, and I could be speaking from my perspective too, because that's the way I'm living my life as of now. But this ain't about me, bro. This is about y'all. All right. But I'm going to speak from my perspective. I got to the point to where I just detached. I don't give a damn about nothing. 
I don't give a fuck about nothing, okay? That's just my straightforward honesty. I care about people that mean something to me. I care about people that are genuine. I care about people that I can pick up on a genuine energy that actually has a soul inside their body and don't masquerade themselves for something that they're not. I don't give two fucks about those people. I don't. They don't mean nothing to me. They don't mean jack shit to me. You know what I'm saying, bro? I'm going to be real. I'm going to be downright blunt and honest. You know, and I know that intensity can scare a lot of people off, but Scorpios are built for that. Y'all understand people on that level, which is why people can't understand you, but yet they get freaked out when you can understand them. It's because you have the ability to understand people. Bro, some of y'all could be a psychiatrist, bro. Some of y'all could be a psychologist. Because of the way y'all built, bro, because of the way the inside y'all brain is built, because of the way y'all soul is built, because the situations that some of us go through gives us that experience to deliver the accurate knowledge to other people that has been through similar situations. I'm telling y'all, man, okay, and to the rest of the scarf child there, bro, if you look at me as if I know everything, I am 100,000% ignorant to all information because it's infinite. Simple as that. That's my humble, honest answer. I'll bow to that, bro. I'm telling you. You know what I'm saying? It's about being humble, bro. I come across as confident, you know what I'm saying? But we all have those insecurities. We all have those struggles within the mentality. Ain't nobody perfect, bro. You could see a person out there that you think has it all, but they're going to have some insecurities. That's the way That's the way life goes. You're going to be feeling yourself sometimes, but also you're going to be feeling like shit. That's just the way the reality side of life is. And a lot of people ain't out there speaking that side, bro, but I'm going to speak the darker side of life. I'm going to pour into y'all what y'all need, Scarps, to help y'all out that dark state of mind, okay, because this is the biggest prison. But in order to put yourself in that prison, you have to become your own police officer by doubting yourself. Doubt is the police officer that will gladly handcuff you and throw you straight in that prison. But me, I'm the bailer, okay? I'm the, uh, no, how you say that? Not the bailer. I'm the, uh, the bondsman. I'm going to bail your ass out that prison. Because you know why? Because I've been there. I'm telling y'all. I've been there plenty of times, Scarps. I know what y'all going through. It's that mental. It's, it's, it's like a solitary confinement. Bro, somebody could literally. like Okay, somebody could be in solitary confinement. Yet they could have the most freedom ever. In that small little room. You know where they live in that? Up here. The mind's eye. They experience in different dimensions. You could literally be in a room like that and have your freedom. But right here, when you up here, that's when you can experience a lack of freedom the most. Okay? I know I kind of got off topic from the psychic reading, but I'm just explaining what some of y'all are going through out there. Okay, just go along with it. If it resonates with y'all, bro, that's good. I want it. I want it to bring. I want to bring it to y'all awareness to where it could get you out that dark state of mind. You ain't gonna be there forever, bro. I'm telling you, it could be the Mercury retrograde that's bringing you all up in those dark thoughts, bro. That's the underworld. I'm telling you, scarps. A lot of us has been there. A lot of us scarps has been there. You know, they would tell you too. They have scarps out there that's more experienced than me that would tell me the same thing. You know what I'm saying? More advanced things. I don't know everything, y'all. I don't know everything. Even when it seems like I do, I don't, bro. I'm 100,000% ignorant to a lot of information because I haven't had those experiences to deliver the information. That's common sense. That's a fact. Y'all see what I'm saying? But uh, at the same time, Scarps, I just wanted to make this video to tell y'all that everything's going to be all right. It may not seem like it's all right right now, but energy transforms. Transmute that negative energy into something positive. All right? And I'm going to tell you how to do it. Focus on the present moment. Focus on the present moment. Because when you focus on the present moment, your perception of reality will be in the present moment. That will bring you straight up out your head to experience the beauty that's around you. Not everything will be about sunshine, sunshine and rainbows, okay? Excuse the hiccup there. Not everything will be about sunshine and rainbows. But when you're in this dark head space... Acknowledge the present moment, and that's what will bring you out of that darkness. Because what you're in 
you're in the past from a train of thought that's ruminating over and over and over and over. It's a rumination process. But if you really look at it, do you perceive what you see in your mind's eye in a physical reality? Are you still in that reality, which is the past? Indeed not. You're just reliving it through a rumination process. And I know it could be crucial. But at the same time, bro, put that faith out there. Put that faith in yourself. Don't put hope. Hope is a form of doubt. Faith is confidence. Put that faith inside of y'all. Stand hard. Fight. You're a fighter. I'm telling you, bro, water is a lot more stronger than what people can think of or can imagine, bro. Y'all already know how powerful water is. Bro, if water was to drip on a concrete block, just like that, and keep dripping for a long time, don't you know that block was split in half? That's how strong water is. Be strong. Peace out.